my channel. My name is Chris, and this is Game Club. Sound good? Ma, somebody can't drive. <laughs> Doctor Orton. Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. Uh, you ran over it anyways. Oh. He ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is gonna kill us. Hmm. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever fur ball he fancies, Christ is averted. Good, go write that on your report later. Grab the equipment for the car and move already. Let's click on the car. Received equipment. Got the sucker. Let's roll. So right click brings up your menu. I'm gonna save this over the top of my last save because unfortunately after the recording issues over the last one I got two hours into it before I figured out the recording wasn't working. Uh, hey wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. No, oh, that's gonna help. How thoughtful of you. So, it's like a point and click style game, in parts. Um, there's some really good storyline to it. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's a security system. Cucumbers, we don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or oh, we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Let's push it by hand, because it's a rock. It's going to move by hand. Alright, I'm free. One, two, three. Okay, it's not a rock. Hmm. I, I don't even... What was that? Get going for now. Well, we'll figure that out later. Right. So let's just carry on where we we're going. Up to the house on the hill. Knock knock. to retire out, huh? I could do better. Night shifts, love them or hate them. 
You know they don't say you're stupid at all. It's probably going to be another all night, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves with some lullabies. Not for your bladder in the world. And your eyelids will. Saved by the door. Don't forget the equipment, moron. She really thinks where I live in, doesn't she? I don't get paid enough for this. Act 1. I never told anyone, but I always thought they were lighthouses. So these are quotes that are used in the game in part. Belief. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosalina, I presume. Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay, I tend to be about a predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, there's a kid we're dealing with. I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab the case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Received equipment. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. So let's go upstairs. If it'll let me click on it, go upstairs. Yes! <coughs> okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. <coughs> no fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. Game. The person who did the music in this knew exactly what they wanted and how to get it. It works really well. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. I'm guessing that's Johnny. He's unresponsive at this point. But by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long he'll have, but I would hurry. Ready to set up? Yeah, go on, set everything up. Yes, it'll just be a moment. Sure, a common household power outlet is sufficient. No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap. Standard procedures, just keep it on your toes. How's he doing? Not so well. If I was just saying, he's got just a day or two left. That was plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. So I want some wish. The moon. These just keep getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? 
It depends. She meant to say yes. What of themselves about our client here? Nah, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. For the two years I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I was a paper boy for Pete's sake. Sure, she just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind, since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Well, seeing as Dr. Rosalind is still stood up and the other guy sat down, Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a book print on this chair. Right, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. So let's have a look what we've got here. Selections of readings from medical journals. Uh, nothing else there. Uh, let's make our way out. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Here, take this. Remote patient monitor. Now keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks, I was just going to ask for it. Johnny's heart monitor is now very activated in the menu, so that means in the menu now, yeah, the top bar there is now his heart monitor, so you can see how he's doing. So let's save it again. And see where we get up to now. I want to break this down into parts, but I don't want to make them too short. I'd rather have them quite long parts so you can get into the story and enjoy a big chunk of one go. So let's see. What do you want? Uh, sure, on that. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you to, to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. Uh, what would you like? What do you want? One trillion dollars. This kid knows what he wants. Oh, the candy came on high to us. Yeah, all that. Huh? There's a giant candy cane on top of the high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Might put it there to save one with each other. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... Uh, yeah, sod it. My mother used to keep candies on high shelves too. Alright, I'll go get it. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go. Very aggressive kids. So let me just go down to this kitchen. Because that's next to the stairs, that's not the kitchen now. It's the dining room or something. Oh no, this is the dining room, and the kitchen. There's a candy cane. <laughs> uh. Ah. No, I don't have a light on. Oh, there we go. Full store. Let's see if I can get it now. Received candy cane. Terrible calories. <laughs> No, don't this way. And exit. And the music plays again. That's another thing I like as well. I'm a big fan of piano music or orchestral music. So no one who could do really good put of, like piano or orchestral music in a game is good in my books. Okay, I got what you wanted. Good old candy cane. If you come and give me a tour of this instant, I won't sneeze on it. I got their attention. Okay, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like the funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. That's the bathroom, that's not the study. We don't want that, we want this one. 
I'm guessing. Because the basement is not as dirty. This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Christian Anderson. Read passage, yes. And the colours, the colours of that beautiful fabric. I've never seen anything like it in my life. They all tried to conceal their disappointment at not being able to see the clothes. The child, however, who had no important role, who could only see things as his eyes showed him, to him, went up to the carriage. But he hasn't got anything on, the child said. Don't talk nonsense, his father reprimanded. But the boy's remark, which had been heard by the bystanders, was repeated over and over. Dust light. The tale of a girl who falls in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Read passage. Uh, maybe in a ring. Ah, I have the key. He chose his hiding spot well. There's not many people going to bother reading a book about, uh, person and a zombie who smells of daisies. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. So one day I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. <laughs> Just a bunch of books in here. They have nothing I don't know about though. Okay. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Okay. Basement, you play hide and seek it. It's unlikely like to play trip over something. Okay. So, locked. Don't know what this is. Yep, the door is locked. Open door with a key. It's like a cave in here. Shed some light on the subject. Hmm. Broken music box. Rabbit's hole without a paper. A stuffed toy platypus. It looks adorable enough to an ideal. Might come in handy. Okay. Oh, it fell over. Put it up. Let's take it. <coughs> Receive a toy platypus. Nothing else in there that I need. Dark music. Did you see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. You aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? Hehe. <laughs> Remind me never to take you to Neil's house. So, you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, oh, it's rather cold outside, but... Yeah, there must be some reason to go there, so... Let's go to the lighthouse. You know, well, fine. Maybe it'll tell me more about those rabbits. Let's go check out the old lighthouse. Of course not, we're all playing it. 
the real old point I want to hear you for. Some is a super powerful knife, and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroy all evil. Oh, that's, uh, that's nice. Do you roleplay too? I, uh, no. She's not cool enough to do it. Hey, I could if I wanted to. Just you children watch. Terrible screw gum. Say you like role playing. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Let's just forget this happened. The bird in the tree there. Making squeaky noises. I remember the lighthouse being down the spot, Mary. And there is the moon. Paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh yeah, Johnny must have come away before he fell ill again. This is the only one with two colours, huh? You know, these things actually look pretty hard to fold. Kind of an odd hobby though. Oh, that's my phone. It's what? Is everything ready? Alright, I'll be right there. Why do you have a creepy ring, Tom? Because it scares the monsters away. Come on, let's head back. So I've got the paper of it now. Let's go back in and see what we get up to. Oh, why don't you be late by another half an hour? It's not like we've got a dying client or anything. I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. Get off your high horse, I'm late just this one time, and you milk it. At least tell me we're good to go. Of course we are, because I'm competent. <laughs> He's hiding himself. Your helmet on the couch, chop chop. Okay. It's in a shape, ready to go. Alright, here we go. Hmm. 
We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you from the Living Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Or are you two from the Agency? How convenient, I've just been thinking of calling you. Will he get some tickets? Lily? Actually, you already called us. We're here to fulfill a contract in the relative future. Be careful there. If you slip off the cliff, you're gonna have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. Yeah, it's just a problem, you know. I know, but this is a lost accessible memory and we need its cooperation. Worst comes to us, we'll just reboot it. Why do you waste time like that? You. You're here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't. But you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? It's fine, you can tell us. It's essential for open us to get you go there. Do you want the game? The money? You got to have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I just do. I can already tell that this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we will do. We need to get to your childhood, but it was too distant to do so in one memory out. Thus, we will need to traverse through your memories for gradual backwards leaps. Would you give us the permission to do it as well as the teacher? Once we laid on the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you can be in the childhood you need to become an astronaut. Or to get on a giant catapult. The point is, have more to say than just the milk As long as you can take this to the moon, or incorporate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leave your memory, we need an item that's important to see us. We have a memory until some thoughts get us started. Good. Now, we Ladies first. Received no. Mm. We'll need to repair this memento first. So to prepare it, these are uh, puzzles. Um, not overly difficult ones. That's the first one. The memento can now be activated for traversal. I'm to speak properly. Wait, what about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped. And back we go. Hmm. Lots of rabbits everywhere. Back a little bit further. And that song again. I'd be, it'd be messy to be seen. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm happy. Jeez, what's with all these rabbits? This is creeping me out. I probably should have checked this record for psychopathy first. What the? Did he hear me? That's impossible. 
It's probably just a part of his memory. So he's not happy. Then I stand by my point. Anyway, quick blubbering and find a memento here to hop from. Multiple paper rubber. Well, aren't you special having two paws and all your siblings are like drowning? What's that? You think really creepy? Why, yes, I agree. The clock is moving, but sound works. And then you get loads of um, notes in the game as well to give you little bits of information on stuff to do with the characters. Seems like these memory hops only span a short period of time. We need to find a leaping memento or it's going to take forever. Nah, just enjoy the scenery. Let's have a look. The memory of River E. Wiles. It's an old stuff by platypus. Honestly, I just don't think this animal has the right to exist. The world's not big enough for two of you. Finished with her. Like you, I'll be able to watch over her every day. She won't be alone anymore. And I never understand why. If I stick through to your wish, I'm sure I knew it was great. I 
about time we got here. I almost thought you fell off the cliff. What were you doing? Enjoying the scenery, what else? Can you look here? Big look, huge dinosaur. Huh? This place looks pretty empty. It's a lighthouse, what do you expect? Anyway, I'll catch you on the other side. Have fun re breaking the barrier for yourself. Ideal shows the minimum number of moves this memento can be completed in such free. So, one, two, three. Jump on. That means I can actually transport. No, we're not. If you grant my wish, I want you to use it to finish building that house. And then, for every day that you live there, I want you to watch over her. Visit her, speak to her, comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. And what about you? Happy. So cliche. It's just a placeholder. And that's why that song is one of the main things in the actual game. Who is this Anya that we're talking about? Is she so important that we should have seen her in his late, in his late memories? I guess I didn't keep that promise after all. 
you got my memory links. You want a quick ride or a quick ride yourself? I'll stay around and explore. Go on ahead, I'll catch up with you. Don't you miss the days when memory audio 28 conversion was legal? I think I brought home over 2,000 songs during my first year on this job. Just no way. What if we take it apart? Look at us, John. We aren't exactly the right page of piano moving. You know what? If this means that much to you, I'll pay for professionals to do this. I can't help saving that house for you, so this is the least I can do. Save it. And then I'm going to pause it here uh, and I shall restart it straight after this one and carry on with it because I want to try and go through this game as much as I can tonight. It's uh, one of the games I've been meaning to play for quite a long time. I just want to get through it and enjoy it properly and just you know, go through it so I can actually go through the whole story stream one after another. So thanks for watching. Um, this was part one of the moon. I will see you again in the following video after this. Grass out. <laughs>